On Saturday, February 10th, Syrian forces shot down an Israeli F-16, which crashed into northern Israel. This was the first time since 1982 that an Israeli fighter plane had been destroyed due to enemy action. The attack was in response to a breach in Israeli airspace. The perpetrator? An Iranian drone. It was launched from Syria and quickly shot down by an Israeli Apache helicopter. It's a copy of a similar system that fell in Iran, Brigadier General Tomer Bar, Chief of Staff of the Israeli Air Force, said of the drone. That copy has a story that originates in 2009, a story involving a number of bizarre American missteps. March 20th, 2009. The U.S. remains at war in Afghanistan and Iraq. Newly elected President Barack Obama offers a new beginning on Iranian state TV. My administration is now committed to diplomacy. At the time, the Lockheed Martin RQ-170 Sentinel is the premier spy drone in the U.S. fleet. It's been built and designed by the same team that developed the SR-71 spy plane and the F-22 fighter jet. Needless to say, it's highly classified. December 4th, 2011. One of our drones is now in the hands of our adversaries. He's giving the Iranians highly sensitive information. About Iran announces that they have successfully captured an American drone with its electronic warfare unit. They also claim to have landed it fully intact. And the concern here is that they'll use those high-tech cameras and sensors to try to develop that technology for their own. The United States government initially denies these claims, but soon after, President Obama acknowledges the downed aircraft is indeed the Sentinel. With respect to the drone uh, inside of uh, Iran, uh, we have asked for it back. December 13th, 2011. Former Vice President Dick Cheney calls the downing of the drone a significant intelligence loss. For us to go in and take out the drone that crashed would have been, a, I think, a fairly simple operation. May 11th, 2014. Iran displays a copy of the captured American drone for the world to see after reverse engineering most of the technology. Footage of an American aircraft carrier in the Gulf is also broadcast on Iranian state TV. January 12th, 2016. We have breaking news as we come on the air this evening. A tenuous situation involving America and Iran. Two U.S. patrol ships accidentally stray into Iranian waters. Iran claims to have again used their electronic warfare unit to confuse the guidance systems of the U.S. ships. Even worse, the Navy later releases a report saying that some, if not all, of the 10 captured sailors gave away sensitive information before their release. It was a mistake. That was our fault. And we apologize for our mistake. January 17th, 2016. The day after the Iranian nuclear deal is implemented, four Americans are released from Iranian prison. In an unprecedented move, the State Department authorizes payment of $400 million in cash delivered to the Tehran airport. This is the first payment of what would be $1.7 billion of cash to Iran, plus an eventual $100 billion in unfrozen overseas funds. The public is led to believe that the funds are part of a 35-year-old settlement, but the timing is suspect. February 6, 2018, Iran announces the operation of a mass production facility for attack drones capable of carrying smart bombs. But in the past few years, we have been in need of combat UAVs, and today we will receive five such drones from the Defense Ministry. These actions show how a series of seemingly unconnected events can quickly escalate a confrontation into a full-blown act of war. As Israel struggles to defend its borders from enemies in all directions, they now have a stronger Iran to contend with on their own doorstep. One thing is clear. During the Obama administration, Iran was emboldened due in part to stolen U.S. technology. We'll see now if a new administration can avoid making as consequential a misstep in the same region.